Meow. So another stretchy kitty today from the front. Well, sort of. Just want to get that general shape in first. That lovely lifted paw that we see the underside of. And a muzzle. I love drawing cats in different poses. They're just like living sculptures, really. I never get bored of drawing cats. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. Because practice makes Perfect. Move that paw over a bit. One thing you want to pay attention to is that the paws look underneath the cat enough so the cat looks comfortable and not about to fall over. So we'll start darkening up some of the lines that I like now and watch the other lines disappear into tone and movement. Eye lines to help place the eyes. Yeah, I'm just feeling out where that little nosy goes. Easy does it on the features. Less is more for everything. It shows some of those toe beans there. And I do have it on double speed here. Fix up some of the lines there and just a suggestion of toes. It's really thinking about each line that I add. I don't want so many lines that they all distract the eye from the focal point. I'm liking it so far. Yeah, I felt like I had to thin up that that back a bit. It was a bit too broad for the head. Made the head look a little too small. like it better now. Nothing like tabby stripes to add character and expression. Yeah, we'll thin up that back leg a bit to put it right under the kitty's body. Help it fade away a bit, that extra line. Because, you know, so, sometimes the extra lines do cause problems. Um, and then I'll fix them with, you know, a bit of shading like that. Help them disappear. And it helps kitty stand out too. I try to erase minimally though. I love to hear from you. Drop me a comment. Tell me about your cat or your life or where you live or what you want to learn about cat drawing. Got lots more videos in the plans and thank you so much for watching. Just going to finish up with some whiskers here pretty quick. And we'll see you next time.